have multiple choices in this menu. And maybe I even want a default choice. Yeah. Did you import it? Did you import it up here at the top? Import route from React Router DOM? Yep. So I want several routes here, and I want it to choose only one. And if it doesn't find any of those, I want a default choice. What does that sound like? What sort of programming construct does that sound like? I have a bunch of choices. If it matches this one, okay, great, that one. If not, check the next one. Is it that? No, if not, well, if it's not any of them, okay, do this last one then. Yeah. Sounds like a switch, doesn't it? So, wouldn't you know it, React Router comes with a component called switch that we can use for exactly this purpose. So let's import switch from React Router, Tom. Battery dead? Just had enough of this bull crap? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's ra wrap this route inside a switch tag. Oops. Uh, let's not mess it up this time, though. Switch. OK. Typing is hard. So let's add a default option. I'll just add another route down here that doesn't have a path. So I'll just not put a path, and then I'll put a render prop on here. And I'll just, um, well, let's do this this way. Let's put my spacing this way. Let's just put a paragraph here that says, to get started, click one of the links above. So if it doesn't match any of the routes, any of the other routes inside my switch, it'll just use this one. There we go. To get started, click one of the links above. If I switch, that goes away, and it's replaced with GitHub. Wee. Now you're using the back and forward button, and all that's doing is hiding and showing different bits of JSX. I'm not actually leaving the page. Though my URL is a change in. So using our URL to hide and show content. Pretty nifty. So let's add a switch with a default case. 